You want us to have Duke Lumbert attend the royal wedding? Get not so loud, Cap. The idea seems right madness. What is your aim? Your Majesty, we can assume they'll have Neon and Valange there. The Duke will be our bluff. He was the leader of the National Forces, so having him there will leave them second-guessing our military might. If we allow the Duke to participate at such an important national event, it'll make it seem like his traitorous forces are holding up better than expected. And what it will also do... Is lead our foes to believe we've no choice but to rely on the very man who plotted against us. Hmm. Exactly. The more they make light of us, the more impact the Falga should have. And how might things be progressing? Let's just say, uh, there's a reason why I want us to use every option we have. Bertrand. <sighs> say no more, your highness. We are out of time. Uh, wait! Surely you can spare a few moments. We are nearly ready. His Majesty and the Corps have already left for Baldar. The ceremony is less than half a day away. Even were the Folga completed, no time would be left to coordinate with our ground forces. There's no choice. You cannot give up on us. Elena and the others haven't. We don't have time for tests, and your Semiomancers aren't up to par. Using those things now would be asking for trouble. The Fulga could never have been finished in the time allotted. However, this fact does not change our mission. We shall see the wedding disrupted, Her Highness safely rescued, and Baldar wrested back from the Empire's grasp. Let us build up the number of Fulga for the final confrontation with the Empire. Our top priority for this operation is the safe return of Her Highness. Theo, Raymond, and I shall enter first and conceal ourselves near the Basilica. Once her escort allows us an opportune moment, we will surround Her Highness. And work with the attending Bertrand Corps to extract her from the ceremony hall. This was my idea. It's risky, for sure, I know. But we need people who know the situation on the ground over there. The King and Captain Bertrand both agree. If such is His Majesty's wish... Sorry to do this to you. Give Midas and them our best. <sighs> Very well. But please, be careful out there. Our aim is the hill to the east of Baldar. We can enter the Citadel from there. We leave at once, you two. have no other support in our infiltration of Baldar. Might I assume we are all quite ready? Assume away. I am ready now as I have ever been. All right. We make our way through the southern gate then. We're 
on the same side now, so let's just forego all the nonsense and work like a team, okay? I appreciate your offer to travel together. Let us wait no longer. Trust you remember the location of that knoll? Of course I do. Nothing could take it from my memory. We can reach it from the path to the southeast. Same as it ever was. Quite true. Let us make our way atop it. All right. Looks clear. Let's slip in before we lose the cover of night. Theo, you should know. I do. Should my sentence be execution at your hands, I accept my fate. But I swear on my life, I shall never again betray Letty or any of our allies. I place my trust in your words. Hey, come now. Do not trust me again so easily. It makes me nervous. No. I believe you, but I shall strike you down just as swift should my faith be misplaced. That I swear on my life. I know you will. I would ask you to share what you have said here with Letty herself. That much I can promise. Let us make for Baldar. We should be able to make our way into Baldar down through here. Are we certain we remain safe from watchful Imperial eyes? I mean, it didn't seem like the sort of passageway anyone's used in a while, but let's not push our luck too much. Here we are. What is to be our move? We may perhaps blend in with the throng. But security is out in force. Yeah, that's where this fella comes in. Should we see to the area by the Basilica first? Yeah, let's see if we can't find a way in. We are. 
Wait. Let me slip in from above and open it. Come on then, Duma. We gotta get up on that roof. We too shall continue our search for somewhere we might enter. We'll rejoin you later then, Ray. Engaging the enemy! Busted! That is a conveniently open window. Bet I could get in through there with Duma's help. Is the Volga ready, Elena? Connection established. Do you copy? Does this device belong to Raymond Lawrence, captain of the Edis, outbound from the planet of Vergold? Huh? This ain't no Vergoldian code. Who is this? Pardon the sudden contact. This is the first officer of the Pangalactic Federation vessel Astoria, Mario L. El... Astoria? You've got some nerve. Please allow me to explain. We are currently en route to rescue the crew of the Edis. <sighs> rescue? I've got a record of you destroying the Yidis, and a freighter's worth of evidence of you breaching your own UP-3! Once I'm off this rock, you are done for, you hear me? Wait, who is in violation of the UP-3? Explain yourself, please! What is going on? I ain't looking for help from someone who shot me down in the first place. I've already made contact with Vergold and got some actual help on the way. Thanks for wasting my time. Over! Wait, we still have to! Like I'm not busy enough. Come on, Ray. Gotta get back to the gang quick. Stairs, huh? Can't hurt to see what's down there. This looks clear. That door there on the southeastern side looks like a pretty inconspicuous spot. Come on, this way. And you are certain about this? Yeah, have some faith. Is Ott a mess? Ott sure is. Ah, forget about it. I found a place for us to hide out. Come on. Right. Let's make our way upstairs and look for somewhere to hide out. 
back there looks like a good spot, eh? One which grants us vantage over the interior of the Basilica as well. <laughs> I hid myself away for entire nights in places like this as a youth. <sighs> hey, Raymond. <sighs> what is it? You are shouldering a fair amount of pressure. Do not think you are alone. Rely upon us should the need come. Sure, yeah. When the time comes. I see Neon is quite in shock to see my father in attendance. He is not of our concern. Where is her highness? She's today's star. We're just gonna have her out there on display. Today, on this finest day, it is an honor to gather here with you all as we witness history in the making. Our world has long been split in two, but today the Vale Empire and the Kingdom of Osirius at last come together as one. What the hell is that? Scorpio. Scorpio what? Gerard Euvel, Leticia Arcerius. As of this very moment, the two of you stand as the makers of history, new rulers of our world. Step forth. Raymond, no word as of yet? Nope. And we're out of time. Looks like we'll be putting on a show, fellas. Come on. Elena! Outside. A new beginning! For a fleeting moment. I was not so averse to the idea of our marriage. <sighs> but I cannot love one who would forfeit their own wedding ceremony to some foul plot. Join our allies in the fray. 
Well said. Lady, why have you returned? Huh. Excitement has always followed you from the days of our youth, cousin. Where's the Emperor? <sighs> we have lost him. Their numbers are too vast. And Prince Gerard? I am jealous. There are those who would lay their lives down for you. And in such numbers. For me come none. A pitiful man, such as myself, could never truly deserve your love. Oh, you poor little thing. The Emperor has already been evacuated. Let's get you to safety, too. Leave me be! This is too much already. Oh, stop being such a petulant brat. Act your age! Lola, you take care of the rest. Very well. But we will have a discussion about the device upon their return. Yes, yes. Hmm, descent amongst their ranks. I'm so sorry you had to see that. I commend you for carrying out such a cunning plan, despite the limits of this world's technology. But I come, under order of the Emperor. We'll be taking Princess Leticia into our custody. We are past such foolishness. This battle shall rage on until only the victor is left standing. Then expect no mercy from us. As long as we keep you alive, it doesn't matter what happens to your friends. battle has been decided. The Imperial forces are on the retreat. Most of their warships off the coast were driven away by our Fulga battalion. Victory is ours. Midas. I am sorry to have forced your Fulga into battle. And for much else. Ready to reconcile, then. <sighs> we can discuss this after our return. Yes, and discuss we shall. These are the Virians you spoke of. Albert, Theo, seize them. There is much I might ask of them. <laughs> This... isn't over! I am Lieutenant Mariel L. Kenny of the Pangalactic Federation. The two of you are under arrest for violation of the Underdeveloped Planet Preservation Pact. I know that voice. A friend of yours? Yeah, real good friend. She's from the Astoria. The one that destroyed my ship. What? You're trying to take out the Virians in order to cover your tracks, are you? That is not true. We only... Behind you, Raymond! Neon, the battle is over. Surrender now. Is that your idea of a joke? Your Majesty. Because this is far from over. 
You can have Baltar back. One little fortress means nothing. We are not defeated yet. Theo! Look at what your selfish betrayal has cost us. After you and your father were promised glory under the Empire. I would rather prefer death than allowing such a thing come to pass. Then die. <laughs> Why? What would possess you to protect me? I am sorry, my boy. I should have known your anguish. <laughs> <laughs> I ought to have done this from the start. <laughs> Let us take our leave, Neon. Damn it! Get back here! Father! Father! His vitals are fading fast. Without a med pod, he might not make it. Father! Open your eyes! Please! I have yet to atone for my betrayal to you! Hold. We still have much to discuss back home. My good friends, I... I am sorry. Radio your sick bay. Uh, what? Listen to me. That ship of yours knows what's going on down here. Get that man into a med pod, now! I, I can't. The underdeveloped planet protect... It's your Federation tech that's about to kill this underdeveloped planet's king! <sighs> We've got an android here recording this entire situation! I dare you to let him die! I'll rip apart the Federation piece by piece till there's not a damn thing left! Uh, fine. I get it. This is Mariel. Akizuki, do you read? I am requesting a med pod transfer here. Stat. It is for the elderly man lying near me. Father! Don't worry, Leticia. The king is gonna be okay. Do you truly mean it? You bet. Now let me introduce you to our savior who's gonna see to it. A golden child of the Pan-Galactic Federation, and apparently a regular UP3 rule breaker, Lieutenant Marielle Kenny. I've got a lot of questions, and you've got the answers.